All right, man. Well, first of all, I got to say that I'm very excited to be able to help you out with your swing, and I'm glad you sent me a video. Um, it does take hard work and desire to become a great baseball player, and it does take, you know, talent. But another important piece of that is seeking the right information and getting the right information. And so many young baseball players have talent, they have desire, but they don't get the right information to help them out. So I'm really excited here and hopefully I can give you some information that's going to be helpful for you as a hitter so that you can become a little bit better and, and build off of what you're already doing well. Um, I used Albert Pujols as your uh, professional model and I chose him for a couple of reasons. Uh, one point I want to make is that all hitters do very similar things by the time they get their front foot down right here. They all get to this position right here and the, the act of the swing is very similar across the board but Hitters get to this position in different ways, and that's where the style of hitting comes into play, the individual style. And, and so I chose Albert Pujols, number one, because I can tell that it's almost like you're cloning yourself after Pujols, which is great. You know, I can see that both of you guys get your feet nice and wide. And like Albert Pujols, you start with your hands higher, a little bit above your shoulder here. And similar to Albert Pujols, you do a little inward knee turn to get yourself ready to stride, and you do a short stride. You can see right here, you're going to notice that Albert Pujols will turn this knee in a little bit to get ready to stride. As you can see right there, and then he'll take a step forward and get to the hitting position. And you can see the same thing here. You'll pinch that knee in a little bit right there, and then get to your hitting position. So I chose Pujols for those reasons. And with that in mind, what we're going to do, first of all, is I'm just going to play both of your swings simultaneously. And I want you just to take some time to watch and take some notes about how you're similar to Pujols and how you look a little bit different. And maybe you can draw some conclusions here on your own for a little bit. And now what I want to do is I want to break down the things that you do well as a hitter. And I'm really excited, number one, because... You have great balance as a hitter, and I want to show you what I mean by that. All good hitters are going to start in a balanced position. Their eyes are going to be slightly in front of their belly button, as you can see here with Albert Pujols. And you can see the same thing here with you. And that's important because if they were the hitters to turn his head and look at us at the screen, their head would be right down the middle of their body. And the same thing is here for you. So if you turned your head and looked at us, your head would be in the middle of your body, which is great. And I'm really impressed because you maintain this balance throughout your stride. If we take you into your negative move, and this is where you simply take this knee and pinch it in, you can see right here that you do a great job keeping your eyes slightly in front of your belly button. And you keep this back knee inside of your back foot. So you're definitely in balance here. And if I get Albert Pujols to that same position, which I call a negative move or a pre-stride movement, you're going to see here that when he pinches that knee in, his eyes stay slightly in front of his belly button, and his back knee stays inside of his back foot. So you have great balance there. And then more importantly, when you continue to take your stride, as you can see here, and you get that foot down right there, you can see here your front foot is landed, and you're getting ready to plant your foot. Once again, you stay in balance extremely well. The eyes stay in front of the belly button, Knees stay inside the feet, and that's just a, a perfect picture of balance at the plate. And you'll see the same thing here with Albert Pujols as he takes his positive move or attacks the ball right here. You can see that before he gets ready to plant in his hitting position, his eyes are slightly in front of his belly button, his knees are inside of his feet, and he's ready to go in an athletic position. So number one, you're a very balanced hitter. Uh, number two, one of the things that I like is you have a good idea of, of what, it, what it takes to get your hands into a good hitting position. You want to have your hands, and I know you've heard this from coaches before, you want to get your hands back. And so you'll see here that when you go and you take your stride and your front foot lands right there, your hands are back, and that's good. And you'll see the same thing with Albert Pujols. As he attacks the pitcher and gets ready to swing, his hands are back. So that's the second thing you do well. 
All right, a third thing that I'm really impressed with is how you use your hips. You do a great job using your lower half to create power. And I want to begin by showing you what Albert Pujols does. You're going to notice here, once he plants his front foot here, his hips are going to begin to open. And as they do, he's going to deliver energy from his back leg into his front leg, as you can see right there. And so those hips open, he transfers weight from the inside of his back leg into his front leg throughout his swing. And when he makes contact right there, that front leg gets nice and firm and he's up on his toe back here. And if we go back, one thing I want you to notice that really signals a good weight shift here with Pujols is we can draw a line behind his back foot right here. And you're going to notice that as he goes throughout his swing and rotates his hips and shifts his weight, his back foot will separate from that line just a little bit, as you can see right there. And that's a true weight shift. And then once he extends and makes contact, that back foot will return. And if we take a look at you here on the left-hand side, you're going to notice the same principles. You're going to plant this front foot right here. And as soon as you do that, you're going to see that your hips begin to open up, which is great. And you shift that weight from your back leg to your front leg. I'm going to draw a line here behind your back foot. And you're going to notice that you get your weight shifted into contact and you get a little bit of separation from that original back line here and you do a nice job hitting off a firm front leg and then you'll see your back foot will return after you make contact so to recap three things you do really well one is your balance throughout your pre stride and stride movement as you can see right here two getting your hands back and do a pretty good hitting position before your swing, as you can see right here. And then three, great hip rotation and weight shift with the lower half. Now in the next video, we're going to talk about some things you can do to build off your strengths as a hitter.